8th, 2006, I got in a motorcycle wreck and I was riding out in the country on a two lane road and going well over the speed limit and lost control and hit a street sign and a telephone pole. My foot got cut off at the ankle and I broke all the bones in my arm and my right femur, both collarbones and I didn't get to surgery in time and that's why I lost my arm because uh, I didn't have any blood flow below my elbow. And I landed in a muddy ditch and got an infection in my leg and they ultimately ended up cutting it off at the knee to get rid of the infection. I couldn't get a prosthesis until Easter of 2007 and I got an arm from the first process, the process did my leg originally, and it was body powered. And he said that if you can't use that, insurance won't get you anything else. And my opinion was I have 10 speed bicycles that have more technology than that, and I know what's out there, and I'm not interested in it. So I got on the internet and started searching for new people. Advanced Aeronautics was one of the only sites I found that only did arms and that's all they did. And they had all the technology and were willing to try almost anything within reason that would work to make make the prosthetic work better or do what I wanted. When I first got my myoelectric it just flowed and seemed very easy to figure out what did what and how to make it operate and do things. And then there was a therapist there that made me do everything with just my prosthesis so that I could learn how to do things and not, and not just wear it for looks, I guess. Carrying things and opening jars or bottles or freeze up your other hand so you don't have to carry stuff, you can do other stuff. And if you have kids, they always have lots of stuff to bring home from school and one arm usually doesn't carry it all. <laughs> and it's easier to hold your kid when she can be held by your prosthetic arm and you can still do other stuff with your other arm. I guess wearing an arm prosthesis, it makes me feel more comfortable. It just feels more normal to me. Going out and doing stuff and not really I guess not worrying about what other people think. I think that took some time to, I don't know, I guess me not being self-conscious of myself. I don't really think of it as limitations because it's not so much that you're limited, it's just you have to find a different way to do things. You can still do the same stuff, you just do some things a little different. Right now I'm going to school to hopefully become a biomedical engineer and get into research and design of prosthetics and robotics.